Right, Martin, um, we've got a part two test. Um, how do you feel as though you'd like me to go with this? Would you like me to point stuff out when you make mistakes? Or would you prefer me just to wait till the end totally and then we go through all the mistakes that you actually made? I mean, you can tell me while I'm, while I'm driving. Okay, because that then gives you a chance mm -hmm. to rectify and yeah. sort it out. So that seems okay with me. Um, just to let everyone know, uh, Marcin has um, had a go at part two and uh, wasn't successful, so he's, he's come to me for a little bit of training. Um, and we're just going to have a little look and see what we can do to help. It's the first time I've met Marcin, we've done all the license check, we've done the eyesight check. Um, you understand about the health and safety of these things, yeah. all right? You know what they're for, mm. they're to help. Uh, honestly, I shouldn't have to do a thing, mate. And mm. I'm not going to tell you a word apart from directions unless you need some help with stuff. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yep. If you need anything at any point, just ask Ash, what do we do? Or Ash, can I park in? Or Ash, what? Well, whatever. Makes mm -hmm. no difference, mate. You ready to go, mate? Yep. Good. Follow the road ahead at all times, unless road signs or markings tell you otherwise. If I say nothing, go straight, mate. Okay. Good. Little mark for signalling. Okay, straight from Well, yeah. Yeah? Those oncoming cars need to know when you're moving away, so therefore... Yeah, I, I haven't seen that any cars. So That's okay. Move. Just observational stuff, mate. Um, I'm turning my temperature down a little bit, Marson. Um, if you need yours, it's obviously there. You sort yours out as and when. Not a problem, mate. So we're just gonna follow the road ahead, please. Do you feel comfortable doing any of the maneuvers as well? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I'm going to give you a little bit of leeway with the car because you've not driven it before. Mm. However, at a driving instructor exam part two level, you should be able to get in anything quite quickly and reasonably and sort stuff out. All right? Yeah. Good. At the roundabout, we're going to be turning right, please, Marcin. It's the third junction. It's that road that's directly in front of us across the other side. signs for a little bit Marcin. We're not going to do any sat nav today, I'm going to get yeah. you following the signs. We're going to follow the signs for the city centre mm -hmm. for a little bit please. And you can start that from now and I'll tell you when we're not following the signs for the city centre. So okay. for now city centre please mate. Side road before guessing, yeah. yeah. Okay, for me, it's not a major deal um, because anyone coming out of that other side road, mm. okay, has to wait for you anyway. Mm. Your speed was never misleading to anyone that you were going to turn mm. down there. However, a good signal should only ever mean after the one thing, so correct after side roads if you can. Mate. All right, mm -hmm. I'm not going to put that down as a mark. Um, I'm just gonna um, just keep you aware of it, mate. All right.
that's what I was saying at the start about this car being long geared. Mm. A lot of diesels are where they won't work very comfortably, very slowly in mm. second. Um, you dealt with it okay, not a problem. Um, no issues whatsoever, just appreciate that of this car please mate, okay? We're still going to be following for the city centre, city centre please. The left turning lane only, so there's two lanes in here as well. There are, mate, yeah. The left lane becomes yeah. left turn. Okay. Did your examiner do that on your um, test as well? Did he tell you extra little bits of info when needed or um, didn't, didn't need to? Didn't really need to? Okay. thing that I've just noticed yeah. um, coming in towards your stops is that you change gear the lights are on red so therefore as you're coming in mm -hmm. you don't need to go from whatever gear you're in to second just press the brake clutch down when required and stop that may be where you're picking up gear change faults from because that was the one on your form as well wasn't it okay Understand that? Do you understand what I was talking? Coming in towards a set of red lights, yep. literally check, slow it down, declutch when you need to, and stop. You don't have to gear down mm. coming in towards something that you're going to be stopping at. Okay. The city centre at this roundabout is straight on second junction but it's slightly off to the right so it is straight mm -hmm. but it's that road over the far side okay, okay. Can you see okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. That's where the, uh, the road's ahead of us, mate. If you need to change the sensitivity of the um, windscreen wipers, it's the little notch on the inside. It's on mate. This one? That one there, yes. So higher up makes it more. No, it's on, it's on, it's on no. The Press the button again. Good. That switch, this one here. This one. That's less, do more. So up. That's oh, more. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Make sense? Okay. Good man. Oh, 
this, so it's not here, it's just after the crossing, please. Um, this one? This next road, please, yeah. This one here? Yes, please. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I thought this is the next one. That's ah, okay. You just missed your mirror checks before yeah. signaling them. Okay, so. There's a little confusion on the road, but to be honest, mm. you couldn't see it if you'd look a little bit further and scan a little bit more. What I'd like you to do when you get a chance, Marcin, is find somewhere safe that we can park next to the curb on the right hand side, please. So the couple of little things, I'm going to do a little bit in between. Mm -hmm. uh, the mirror fault before signaling is a pretty basic one. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you were unsure, check. Yeah. Yeah, check to see what's going on around, because that then tells you um, how soon you do need to signal. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's quite important. And what we're actually going to do is reverse back away a yeah. couple of car lengths, please, Mars. All right with that? Yeah. Super. If anyone is within mm -hmm. a bubble, imagine a bubble around our car, two or three car lengths around mm -hmm. us, we need to stop and wait. Okay. So when you started, it was good, but as soon as the vehicle started yeah, still coming, in. you should stop. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Right, sound. So um, just keep an eye on things like that. There are certain times where it might be that there are people walking on that pavement that pose no risk to mm -hmm. you. But with the vehicle coming the opposite direction and coming towards our area that we're going to go to, well, not directly behind it, but they were close, yeah. just pause, let them finish, check everywhere, carry on again. All right? So let's reverse another car length or so. All right? twisting around looking this way as well as watching what we're doing here so twist around Marcin I'm that's better go on what were you going to say it's time to use more mirrors than actually that's it the... so why is it important to actually look behind rather than just mirrors I mean in case someone is crossing and you can't see good in the mirrors okay all right so just secure it up a second so you know you said to me at the start about your um, first attempt where mm -hmm. you did uh, reverse bay okay. parking and you weren't sure about what the examiner marked mm -hmm. your observations down for. Have we just found out? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Cannot just be mirrors. Because if you just look at this, you just look at the outline of the back window. Mm -hmm. If you turn round and I'm looking here, mm -hmm. I can see all of the back window, but I can see all of the side as well. Mm -hmm. And I can see peripherally yourself. So it's important to actually twist and turn around. It might be a better idea for you to do... I do actually see with, yes. with this. Try as well putting this elbow, like I've done, on the inside of this seat bolster and twist around more. Move your bum over there in the seat a little mm -hmm. bit more, Master. So, That's more than that. better. Okay. And actually twist and look out the back as well as doing all your observational work. Mm. So there's a little issue with your observational work, with your manoeuvring that potentially we've found. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah? If anyone comes within our bubble, yeah. wait, reassess, recheck, 
and then carry on when it's safe. Does that help? Yep. Good. Um, you can drive on. I'm going to just mark a couple of these things yep. down on the sheet. Mate. All right, so um, we can get going. Just before we go as well, Marcin, why is it, yeah, just take it out of gear a second. Why is it okay for me to do this now and not for you to do this with a pupil? Why? Any um, idea? I don't want for you because you are more experienced than me. No, it's actually dependent on you because you're a full license holder. Yeah. When you're um, in the car with a learner, mm -hmm. they're not a full oh, license you, you, holder. Yeah, okay. Do you understand? So the use of these tablets when you're teaching your learners, mm -hmm. no. Obviously, because I need to be concentrated on one pupil is doing. Correct, but you're a full license holder. Yeah. I'm not going to do it at a time where I should be watching you, even though you're a full license mm -hmm. holder. I'm not going to trust you, unfortunately, implicitly, with my car yeah. if there's risk. So. I will pick times to mark certain things down yep. on here, mate. All right, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, super. Um, when you're ready, you can get going, mate. Now. 
follow the signs for the M62, please. Okay, following the signs for M62. <coughs> Did you need second gear? Uh, you're gonna be kind of like rolling. No. no. You're gonna plan further, mate. All right. There's a big queue, and everything stopped a bit further up. Okay. And this is the bit that I said to you about your. Um, gear change coming in first you tend to slow it down and choose rather than look all right and what we've got to get you doing is looking on the approach not choosing gears gears aren't the things that slow you down gears are used to go so when we had that literally you just needed to slow assess wait till you know what gear that you're gonna choose and then literally choose it try and think of one gear per junction Nice use of the signal there, mate. Well done. Good. That was better with the gears then as well. Good. Let's look further up though. Mark on your sheet about awareness and planning, wasn't there? Yep. I'm just going to stick one back down on there as well because it's still something you need to work with. Which way is the M62, mate? Right. Okay, so you know where we're going. This, I don't want to actually roll. What do you mean? You don't want to roll? Because I'm on the third gear now and we're going to slow, so I don't want to roll and I don't want to stall the car. You won't, so not, that's why I'm not changing the second gear. No, not if you press the clutch down. Because if you press the clutch down, you're finishing with that third gear or whatever gear you're in. I think you're in second, by the way. So the, the key is as you're coming in, you're choosing a gear but mm. not using it. You won't stall if the clutch is pressed. I mean, I don't want to play it for too long because if I play it too long, it will be me classified as as, as rubbly. It's coasting. It's coasting, yeah. No, it won't. It's a load of rubbish. That's that's what was on my curse, so that's why I'm. I know. I'm doing it. But it's wrong. When the gear's finished working, so whatever gear that you're in, if you listen to the engine mm. and press the clutch down when that gear has finished. You don't need to choose a gear to get to a red light. Mm. It's not classed as coasting, that's fine. It's not classed as coasting, it's a controlled roll. So yeah. don't think that that's coasting, okay? These diesel engines, as we've mentioned, are quite long geared. You have to press the clutch quite early. Mm -hmm. That's not an issue. Once you've finished with that gear, press the clutch and leave it, okay? Does that make sense? Yep. I'll try and help you a little bit the next time that that comes up. So even though we said about a mock test, yep. um, do a little bit of help, mate, with it, all right? change my route slightly just so we can work on this um, little fault and try and get some better understanding so forget following the signs for the M62 now okay, okay? we're just going to continue ahead and we've got a couple of junctions that we can think about what we're to what we're dealing with coming in towards the sets of lights okay so if you go back to your first attempt again did you say that your examiner said that you're constantly changing gears i mean there was one occasion when i when i've done that so and that's, I don't even that's know probably why so straight so gears, yeah that's probably why he's put it down okay so it is something that you can um do a little bit of work with and it will help your observational stuff because your observational stuff is taken from uh, or taken away because you're doing the gear changing coming in you did it at the junction coming out of the park where you chose second where you weren't looking 
but the junction itself was really closed and busy, so you didn't really need second gear. Yeah. All right, so I'm trying to force the observational stuff rather than the gear changing. Okay, just for example, um, you deal with the road that joins, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna get to the next set of lights and turn left, but at the moment, um, they're on red, Marcin. Well done, that's all good. Good, well done. So, yeah, I would cancel the signal, check and put it back on. Signal left. Now, just brake and listen. Clutch down, hands on the steering wheel. So we'll leave it. So nope. nothing's costing them. No, nope. it's not coasting. Less brake, roll us up. Start. You're sure? Hundred percent. And brake on. Into neutral. Relax. I've been told that I can't do that though. BS. Sorry. I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm not swearing. Because that's what I've been doing before, and then I have to, and I've changed to changing the lower gear, no. and then stopping. No. Why? Why not, change? Not just, why just, change to a lower gear when the lights are on? Red? Why well, are you pressing into yeah. it? Yeah. What I read, it's it's uh, just to keep the car on, under control. You're just under control. You're braking. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, well, that's what I was doing since the beginning. So. <laughs> no. And I've changed. No, 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 not not now, obviously. Yeah. Um, but do you understand the point yeah. now? Yeah. It's just simple for you because you're concentrating on the gears. And I'm just trying to simplify it, just concentrate on the observation. When the gear has run out and doesn't work, press the clutch, wait till you know what gear you're going to pick, pick it, do it. One gear per junction forces observational work rather than you worrying about your gears. Because like I said, coming out of the park a little bit before Newsham Park, you chose second where the road was. Chocker. Make sense? Okay, good. I'll help you with this. At the next set of traffic lights, we're going to turn right, please. So it's not this road here. It's following signs for Heighton and Motorway M62 mm -hmm. again. So look at the colour of the lights. They're on red. Check your mirror. Use your brake. No signal. Yeah. Just keep to the side. Listen. Clutch down. No gear. Hands on the wheel. Come to a stop. Finished. Handbrake. I'd, I'd go handbrake neutral as well. Just because if you get hit behind, right at that point where you take it out of gear, you're off forward. Mm -hmm. Your handbrake's on first, you've always got something secure in the car. Make sense? Yeah. So, if you can. Perfect. Good. Can I leave that one to you? Yeah. Can you have a little go at that one? Sure. Okay. Good job. So, if it's steering to do, don't change, don't change, don't change. Now change. Yeah. If there's a priority to be had, Gear changing or steering. If you don't gear change, the engine sounds louder. If you don't steer, you crash. What should we do? Steer. Simple like that, isn't it? Yeah, good, well done, mate. Nice. Perfect. Do we need a gear? No. 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 Handbrake, neutral, relax, watch. Better. Just forces observation, doesn't it? Mm -hmm forces you to look. So what I'd be thinking now is how much is coming out of that road. Nothing. Press the clutch, put it into first. Good, press the clutch, put it into first gear. There you go, you're late. Do you understand? So observational stuff. Because then traffic had finished from that side road. Do you know about the sensors on the road? Do you know about the traffic light sensors? Yep. So they pick up on space. And if there's a big gap, they might change. Yeah, it might stop them, let someone else go. Well done. I'm going to leave it to you again and we will go back to following signs for the M62. Not to Liverpool, but probably to Manchester from here. I cannot remember the exact right. sign. Alright, but it's um, it's a right turn at the roundabout onto the M62. Okay. okay.
little bit tough on you. Uh, that should have been in fourth, going down that road. Listen to your engine. Could have easily gone in fourth gear. The engine note was quite high. Okay, mm. saves fuel. It does. So right yeah. turn onto the uh, motorway, please. So leave the gear, have a look. Carry on. No gear needed. Easy. Okay. Good. That signal to reapply was very important, Marcel. Well done. a little more okay so even there coming off the motorway sixth would have been fine to stop here with mm -hmm. yeah. all good it's a horrible day mate isn't it again when you get a moment as well, Marcin. Okay, it's this next yep. road off. So there's a little bit of planning issues there, isn't there? Have you ever done spiral roundabouts before? No? Yeah. Have you? Okay. Didn't need the gear. 
notice your slower way because you chose. Yeah, slow, look, observe. Okay, I'm going to mark that one down shortly. seeing things in enough time and then slow and soon enough, okay? Let's have a little look on how you deal with these type of roads. There's a bit of steering and gearing there. Remember, if you've got steering to do, Marcin, yeah. do the steering. So here, if you needed a gear, we don't. But if you needed a gear, slow and do it there, and then do your turn around the corner. All right. roundabout, the one before, where I had to tell you to move to the right. Yep. Um, I'm going to mark that down as turning right, okay, because what you needed to do was keep move to the keep moving to the right until you found the Cronton Lane and then stay there. Yep. Okay, so there's a little yeah, bit there of... Was, I think before that, see there was something. Yeah, so you move to the right a couple of times, stay in your lane, and it just takes you off. So there's a little bit of work that you need to do with Spiral or Gyre 3 roundabouts. Check out my video on it, mate. It's actually on that roundabout. Yeah. Yeah. That roundabout that we've just done. Um, the whole video is based on that, so it would be a good shout for you to have a little nosy of that, mate. But that would have been... Ooh, um, it's okay. The road's closed. That's fine. Just keep going for a sec. Good. I'm going to take the next left where this car's coming out front, please. late for a gear, clutch down, just stop. Turn right please. Right. Yes please. You just a little fast coming in. So you have to slow and sort the gear before you get there. Not when you get there. Okay, you have to do more observing on the way up to it. Alright, just keep driving Marcin. Right, the road's closed a little bit further up so we'll just do a little detour and uh, it's somewhere different mate, it's not a problem. That down as a serious fault on the um, spiral roundabout. You need much more awareness than that. We might parallel park with this car, Marson. Yes, we will do, please. Can you park next to it and then uh, reverse back in behind it, please, mate? Good. Well done. What were your observations like before you started? Um. Okay, just relax. Okay, 
what were your observations like before you started? Um, mirrors and then back. Did you check the other side? Um, on blind spot. No, 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 we didn't. No. Your observations need a little touch of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because even there, as you're coming in towards the park, um, you tend to be um, sat look forward a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So it's the same sort of thing as we mentioned a little bit earlier on, that you need to go a little slower yeah. with your car and your observations need to be a little faster. Have you ever heard this phrase before? I doubt that you have, because it's one that I made up. Your observations need to be faster than your car. So as we were coming back in there, I think that your car was traveling yeah, faster than your observations could mm. cope with. So there's two things that you can either do. Observe much more and much quicker, or slow your car down a little. Mm. Okay, technically, you're not far off, okay? You do need to stop yourself looking forward because then it will enable you to straighten up mm -hmm. as well because as you look at your yep. wheel, we're not straight. So just press the clutch a moment. Good, put it in reverse gear. Good, twist yourself in the seat a little. Don't move your wheel. Yep. Good, hold on. Hold your handbrake. Check absolutely everywhere around the car. Good, wheel clear. Good. Yep. Move slowly and look behind us and in your left mirror. No, you're steering. And this is the point that I'm getting at. You think that you need to steer right to straighten up because you're looking at this. You actually don't, Marcel. The car's already moving there, but you don't know it yet. Mm -hmm. You need to move first and then decide from its movement which way you need to steer rather than looking forward. Let me show you. Check around everywhere. Good. Look out the back and in your mirror. Move mm -hmm. slowly. Don't steer. Look at which way the car's going. Away. So mm -hmm. keep moving and steer back. Steer back. That's it. No, it's too much. Keep moving. No, don't look at this. Just look at the movement. Mm -hmm. No, we don't want it to go away or closer. Keep moving. Keep moving your car. The rear door handle's going further away, isn't it? Yep. Keep looking out the back. Now the rear door handle's going in, somewhere mm -hmm. in between. Somewhere in between, look at the rear door handle. Keep moving your car. We don't want the door handle to go in. Don't Keep moving. Straight. Yes, good. Keep moving. Now it's straight. Yep. And that's what you need to look at to try and get straight rather than looking at this and looking forward. Mm -hmm. You've got to spend more time going a little slower, looking that way, and not looking this up. Yep. All right, mate? Yeah, it is quite warm, mate, isn't it? It is warm. I'm just going to turn that off, it should be a bit cooler now. Um, it's only, it seems to heat up more when you yeah. have it on the windscreen, that's all. All right. Any questions, mate? Um, not for now. Not for now. Okay, sound. Um, are you learning a few things, do you think? Yeah. yeah good, well done. Do you understand what I mean about not choosing the gear coming into a red light? Yeah, just spend loads of time to change what you've been saying to what, I've been told, what, what I'm doing now. Yeah. So now I don't have to reverse it to what I want to be before. Yeah, yeah, I know it's all good. Because yeah. everyone's got the different opinions on certain mm -hmm. things. However, um, I do see little gaps in people's levels yeah. when this scenario happens. So all I ask, mate, is don't be too negative with it, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, we're pretty short on time as well. I know yep. we finished a, a little, or we started a little after, but we're going to have to make some tracks, yep. mate. All right. But we've got a couple of manoeuvres in, no mm. problems. I think we've helped you with them a little bit. Yep. Um, we're going to drive on, and I'm going to take a bit of a gamble. It did say road closed. However, I've seen cars go over there, so uh, we are going to go out here, turn right, then turn left, and go over the bridge where those red lights, or the lights are just changing them. Good. Okay, second move. That's another little thing that you've got to try and get a bit better with. So right here, here. and then we're going to turn right again. We're not going over the bridge. That was a bit late with the clutch. The gear had finished and your clutch was still up. Do you understand? Yep. And that's why it was forcing forward, steering and gearing. 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. I'm there to point stuff out. And we've found your little problems or a few of your little problems. That's okay. So you've got to get better at listening on when to press the clutch down. If second gear's finished, just press it and get slower. All right? Good. Nice job. That's okay. second road on the right, not this one that we took before, but just where the cone is, please. So slow and listen, Marcel. Break a bit more, break a bit more, clutch down, choose your gear for the corner, which is correctly second. There we go. Better, because that was all done before we got to the corner, wasn't it? We slowed enough, chose the gear at the appropriate time. Well done. So it's turned from a, a mock test into a little bit more training. Would you, would you say that's fair? Yeah. Do you think it's been the right course of action for yourself though? Do you think what we've done up to now has been um, useful, me doing it in that way? Yeah, and I would say no, well, um, you did train on. Good. I agree. things that, well, two of the things that we've been working on, we've just tried to correct and just tried to sort out there. Do you feel as though it, it pushed you towards observing more coming into that junction? Doing it like that? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Good. Traffic lights turn right, please, mate. Will we need a gear? Uh, not yet. So just slow. observing at better times rather than doing stuff with your hands. Let your eyes take the precedent, let your eyes take more of the work at the important times. Because that's the difference, that's, that's the thing that makes us good drivers. It's not our ability with the car, it's our ability with our eyes. Yeah. Uphill. Okay, maybe a little bit more power. 
if the car needs a bit more control, third in this car is better than fourth. But if the road is really clear and really empty, yeah. pick four. Okay. Another thing I was told with the speed is to keep the car on the third gear when you're doing third and 20 when you do 20. Not always. Will we need a gear? Because yeah, no, we're just going to stop. Good. So just do your stop where you need to stop. Good. Done. Uh, no, uh, that depends on the car that you're in. Save fuel, going in fourth gear at 30 in this car, as will most cars. Yeah. But you have to listen to manage it and to, to hear whether it is going to need that low gear or not. Braking is also a little late. You can brake a little, little bit sooner sometimes, Marcy. All right. If you brake sooner over a longer period of time, it gives you more chance to look and also more chance to listen mm. for when to press the clutch correctly. Yeah, you you leave your brake into the end, mm -hmm. and then the time that you go from pressing the brake to stopping is quite short. Therefore, that's why the, yeah, the, the problem is with the, the pressing of the clutch. Okay. on at the side. See it? Now it's an amber. Right. Clutch down into first. Observe moment. Yeah. More. Good. When are you going to get the gear? So not yet. Not yet. Still not yet. Still not yet. Okay. So either get it before or after or during if you can keep your hands still. Yeah? steering gear. That's a potential control issue, isn't it? Yeah. turn following the signs of the motorways please right turn for motorways have a look don't choose yet just break them off have a look okay do you think it's going to be stick it do it better okay so don't worry about the signals don't worry about the gears the signals sort themselves out gear around the corner perfect Take a, it should take a little bit of time to get, don't use gears. It's okay, carry on. Good. It may take a little bit of time to get into this frame of mind, the force and the observations. However, it will improve you, mate. It will improve you a lot. Is there any conflict in your own mind with what I'm talking about, or does it make sense? Um. Just uh, the, the previous lesson I had uh, was a little bit different. What uh, second? No, first. It's too slow. Yeah, don't choose the way in. I know that's not a problem. I know we were talking as well. Go on the previous lesson there. Uh, 
so it was a bit different what yeah. what we talking about now because yeah. like this changing the gears and yeah. uh, approaching the lights yeah. uh, was was what I was doing what, what, what I was taught I'm doing now basically yeah yeah absolutely next gear now do you need a gear no. hands on the wheel just slow more good slow more slow more First roll, roll slowly, roll slowly, 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 roll, 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 there you go. Keep, it, keep things moving if you can. It's better for the car, less danger with the people behind, smoother journey for your passengers. Honestly, I could bore you to death, and I'm not going to, but I could bore you to death with the benefits of keeping things moving. Yeah? And that comes from forward planning, so you can create time for yourself, Marcin by doing a couple of things. So you look far, which gives you more time to see it, which is a little area that you need a little bit of work on. Which lane are you going to pick here? Okay, we're going flat side. Yes. Uh, I Correct. You shouldn't have even signaled though. How come you didn't go straight to that left lane? Uh, well, I could really. You should have as well, right? Because you going into the right lane unnecessarily there then makes people think you're going to the right lane to do a right turn somewhere up and they'll pass you. Um, okay, I've been told gear. to gear. Clutch down gear. To change the. To every time when you're changing the lane, you should use the indicator. That's what I've been told. That's why I'm. Why didn't you signal to go into the right lane then? Don't worry. Straight on, second junction. Have a look. I'm not rubbing my eyes in uh, exasperation with yourself though, mate, I promise you. Just with other trainers, honestly. Level of people teaching, it's ridiculous. Now, will a signal help people? Yes, yes look no. at the cars coming out. So check and put a signal on. Signal's not for us, mm -hmm. it's, it's for other people. You. Okay, sound. This roundabout, we're gonna turn right, please. Right, no need to signal. No one's there who's going to benefit. Don't worry too much about that, all right? This right turn, fourth. Leave the gear, just slow. Use the brake more, use the brake more, leave the gear. Now choose first, now off we go. The brake fixes things, not the gears. One, two, three, taking four. Okay. That's three. That's three, correct. Well done. Good. Well done, mate. What's your road like? Therefore. Yeah, we speed up. Build a little bit. Yeah. This one I went to the That's a B. Yeah, do it, do it accordingly, because it wasn't. A, a little bit faster than we were doing there. It's all right, mate, it's fine. Now, what speed should you try to merge at? Uh, on the way, so it's a 70. Same as that, lorry. Yeah. Okay. Now, good. Nice job. Any problems with the black one? No? Yeah. Loads better. Cancel the signal, Marcel. We're not going. Cancel the signal. Then put it back on and then go. Else people don't know that you're going to do it. They think you've just emerged. Do you understand? Yeah. So each lane change should be separated. Good. That's okay. There's cars in our vicinity, so the signal's okay. But if no one's near you, mate, who are you signalling for? I mean... I think not because there was cars cars in front, so that's all. That's Super, all yeah, yeah, yeah. But the one before, they were really far. Yeah. Um, if we're overtaking people, you will need the signal. But again, just assess this grey Mercedes. Yeah, it's a bit fast though, don't we? Yeah. All right. Try and plan and try and keep things flowing a bit more. Now, here, is it worth coming back into the left? No. no. 
think of signals as, excuse me, excuse me wouldn't be said in an empty room, would it? So therefore, if no one is going to be beneficial, or it's not going to be beneficial to anyone for your signal, don't put it on. When the road split before, you went into the right lane, confused people that you were going to go into the right lane, and then signal left to move left. The road just split up. You can use any of them straight away. Yeah? So now, to move back, the van is there, I would signal. There are people around, we are getting out of the van's way, so therefore it's helpful to him. But if no one's there, don't bother. So going back, we are using this lane and following the A580 back off towards the test centre. Yeah. All right, super. So A580 and then we get down to the roundabout and turn left. So the thinking before, you said about, well, I got told to signal to go into the left lane. Well, hang on a minute. Why did, didn't you signal to go into the right lane to start? There you go. It's the same, isn't it? So, what you should just do is pick the lane that you wish to choose as it splits, as long as it's safe. Yeah? Good. Does that make sense to you, Martin? Yeah. Good, man. Well done. Excellent job. So, try not to choose the gear until you're ready to do it, until you've looked. So, which way are we going? Left. Okay. Don't do too much brake then. Have to think about the brake and have a listen. Clutch down, no other gear. Signal help these vehicles behind now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good. Plan your traffic, observe rather than looking down. Yeah, there's not much coming from this road, is there? How much is coming from this road? Um, Put it into first gear, there you go. That's what I'm getting at. Gonna learn to observe, yeah? Learn to look. And the signal going back on is important for the red and blue lorry. Signal left. Signal left. You didn't push it properly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a proper push, all right? Does that make sense how that signal is helping these cars coming out of there? Yeah? All right, good. Well done, mate. Good job. Do you live just off a little long lane, Marcin? down that way. Head us near your home. Uh, I mean, you can drop me off for the, for the, by the system because I... Do you need to yeah, be around there? That's okay, then. that's fine. What should we do with this, Marlson? Change your speed. Look at the van in front. Not second gear needed. Didn't need second. Uh, slow down with the gears. You probably could have got away with fourth or even third. Yeah? So you've got what I call clutch down second disease, which is everything you do yeah. is press the clutch down, put it into two, Cl press the clutch, put it into two, press the clutch, put it into two. And a lot of people are like that. What I'm trying to get you to do is to observe properly and see what you actually need to do. Yeah, And that's that higher level of observing that you will need when you're yeah. playing with your pupils. Or Say playing, having fun and uh, teaching your pupils, yeah. You need that higher level of observational stuff and thought, if you like, as well, to, to be able to cope with what your pupils can throw at you. So, it's quite important. Now, what's going on with this in front? Yeah, good, I agree. You need to grow your gap a little bit, mate. Totally agree. That's okay. You were aware of it. Could we overtake, Marcin? Uh, Definitely. Oh. Signal right. Good. Good. Look, you're signalling as you move. Yeah, uh, yeah. But was it actually a point to overtake at the uh, moment? Yeah, because we're staying on this road. By all means, use lane three if you need. Get on with things. Yeah. It's up to you. It, it depends. They're all in that left lane, probably because they're going to do a left turn. All right. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, make a little bit of progress. Don't be content sitting in the left lane on a 40 limit doing 25 miles an hour. Yeah? Good. Leave the signal. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Now, 
lane change. You're too eager to move when you put your signal on. Who's the signal for? Um, for the other people. On the so how much benefit is it when you're putting your signal on as you steer across? Oh, yeah. All I got you to do there, two things. I got you to delay your movements. That's why I just did that. Mm -hmm. when, don't move. But then we were coming up to the junction, so therefore we delayed it even longer. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. The signal needs to be on for at least three clicks before you move. So put it on. Happy. People seeing it? Well, that was yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's just speed it up, so. and space down, that's okay though. Now what should we do? Good, well done. Do you understand about putting yeah. the signal on for three clicks? The downside to that mate, is what we just had the lorry do there. Mm -hmm. As soon as you put it on, what did they do? Yeah, speed, up. speed up. People don't want their space to be compromised. Okay. So, the signal, if people um, work them properly, the lorry driver here in front, if they work them properly, they should have gone, oh, this car would like to use that space, great. The roads are there to be shared, but P015XHU is obviously a selfish driver, isn't he? Yeah, okay, so we've got to deal with that, and you dealt with it nicely, however, I thought you did delay and delay and delay. I thought there was a yeah. little opportunity, but if you're ever in doubt, mate, perfect. Yeah, I've, I've seen it start to spilling up, so, so... Perfect, that's fine, that's okay. Um, but make sure you're trying to make a little bit of progress. Make sure that if you are using your signals, they're on for at least three clicks. Mm -hmm. So people get to see them and act yeah. off them before you do it, okay? No point putting it on if you're gonna signal as you do it. And usually what happens with people is that they grab the steering wheel and signal at the same time, and that forces the movement as they signal. So, relax your grip, hold with your right hand and loosen your left to yeah. signal. We'll try it with a left lane change. So, out you at, put it on, leave it for a few. Happy? Keep up with that one in front. Happy? There you go. Perfect. Good. So give the chance for the signal to take effect before you do it. Okay, fab. Hold on mate, that's gone on longer than thought. However, you've got a little bit more um, benefit out of it as well mate. So it's not a bad thing on your part. We'll have a little gab when we get to the end mate. This set of traffic lights, we're gonna be turning left please. So, gently slow and listen. I'll leave this to you. Listen. Good. Nice job. Well done. Sorry to throw a spanner in the works today with what you've been doing previously. Um, well, obviously. but un unfortunately. Yeah. Need, needed doing, yeah. Um, it's not a, it's not a tear up, is it? Yeah. No, I haven't totally tore your rule book up and give you a new one. We just ripped a few pages out, haven't we? Yeah. Can you honestly see the benefit of things that I've been trying to get you to do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. How much traffic's coming out? Maybe it might be us. It might be a little wait for a bit, but. Perfect. The observational stuff there is very good. Well done, mate. When are you going to get the next gear? Hmm. Now, what should you do with the uh, actual cars up ahead? Uh, Six. Leave it for three. And see its effect. Yeah? You've worked out the signals on this car that you have to give them a proper push, alright? No problem.
turn left. It's the wider road that we're taking. Slow and listen again, Marson. Leave the gear, leave, brake a bit more. Leave the gear, leave the gear. Doesn't need it. Just drive. It's fine and fair. And park us wherever you wish, mate. Don't mind where you go. Good, mate. Secure it all up. Good. You can leave your car on just for a little second. Not a problem. Relax. Um, in fact, give you a stop button at one press. Now give it another press for me. And now give it another press for me. Chill. Relax. Yeah. Thank you. So we've got a little bit of air circulating around. All right. Cool. Pretty good job. Well done for coping with the level that we worked at today as well. Um, but you should be able to. You're a yeah. potential driving instructor. You're gonna to have to put up with all kinds mm -hmm. of rubbish there out on the road. And I'm always a little tougher on you guys and girls than I would be with a student. Yeah. However, you, you cope with it really well, so well done. Have you got any questions, first of all? Um, there was a little bit of mixture, which, what I was taught to learn I know. with what I was actually doing. So I, know. I was doing it properly before I started training, then started my training and towards that I'm doing it wrong. And now you're saying I was doing it right and what I've learned is actually wrong. Yeah. So yeah. Can you see why though? It's yeah, not I, just... I know I know now because it's go on. That was that's pretty logic because you wouldn't be mixing with the gears when you have a turn or you're, you're stopping. Yeah, that's that's logic. Driving is logic. Yeah. It should be. Okay. So I'm glad that makes sense to you. Mm. Um, so we had the one gear per junction, yep. which is really important. We had the trying not to steer and gear. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a little bit better with that? Sometimes on corners, you can move off, set the steer, hold the steer, get second, put your hand back on, straighten up. Mm -hmm. That's okay, because you're not doing that. Yeah. So no steering and gearing. Um, Mirror works generally pretty good. Okay, I think um, you can try and be a little more specific sometimes, middle and left, to do a yeah. left turn, middle and right. Sometimes you do skip the middle one or, or have, I've not said much about it because your all round awareness has been good. However, some examiners may very well not see that all round awareness mm -hmm. they may be looking for specifics specific, at yeah. specific times so be aware of that however it was pretty good um, the signaling as you move that we just worked on makes sense mm -hmm. good should be on three clicks yeah. at least see its effect well done with the lorry closing your space down get used to it because mm -hmm. it's what happens all the time yeah. um, and that's unfortunate that because people do close space down, people then don't use the signals in the correct manner. They feel as though, there's my chance, signal move. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why people work and operate in that way. But we've got to change the mindset of it that we're passing over to all our pupils. Mm -hmm. It's important. What else was there today that you feel as though you, you picked up? Um. So there was the thing with this reversing, the reversing. reversing on the back mirror, on the back mirror. Good. So you need to be sat, yeah. twisted a little bit more, more observations out the back. Mm -hmm. What was that phrase that I used about observations and speed of car? Speed of car needs to be slower, slower. observations need to be faster, faster than, yeah. than your manoeuvre. All right, so that's pretty important. Um, Try not to sit and look forward at your wheel or the car in front mm -hmm. and look at movement a little bit more. All right, so there's something that maybe we found out about that. Was there anything else, do you think? Um, it's hard, because we've been going for an hour and yeah. 15, 20 minutes. Well, the, the main uh, point was the mm. that speed on the motorway. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit slow on the on the emerge. On the emerge yeah. yeah, good. And the other thing, not long after that, was the spiral round. In the bowl, yeah. All right. Um, I thought I was on the right lane. You were, but then, then you went, was, what, yeah. what you need to do on a spiral yeah, round on the right. is then split to the right. Yeah. 
and then split to the right until you find your lane that you go. Yeah, we're still there when you'll notice. So. And I tend to find, with a lot of people, you included as well, that you tend to look at a certain distance which makes you quite reactive. You can still cope with it, however, that's not the level yeah. that we're after to be a driving instructor. You've got to look maybe twice that distance, so therefore you then get to plan it. Has there been a couple of situations today where um, you weren't sure? There was one where we turned left into the park earlier on where you weren't sure about where the turn is. There's oh, been, yeah. There's been a couple today was, where you've that seen... That was behind the hill, so I didn't see the uh, Yeah, a, li a little late. So yeah. you could see it, all right? So just look and plan a little bit further up, mate. Okay with that? Mm -hmm. um, how do you think you should go going forward? Do you think there's enough there for you to be practicing with and getting on yeah, with? Yeah. I do. I thought that was Thanks. good. Any questions, mate, before we uh, tie it up? No. No. Superb. Well done today. Good job. Happy?